In this video, we are going to learn about the menu control. Menu control enables us to create horizontal or vertical menus in ASP.NET. And in the following how to, we are going to learn that how to generate a menu based on the site map or from the database. So first we will see how to generate a menu based on the site map file. Before we go ahead with the site map file, let us first know about what is site map file. Sitemap file is, a, is basically a XML file that describes the structure of your web pages in your website or your web applications. So first let us see, uh, uh, see and uh, create a, a menu uh, with the help of the sitemap file. So for that we will create one menu control and sitemap data source control on the ASPX page. Let me show you how to do that. Here you can see that I have kept one ASP menu control run it called to server and data source ID is basically the ID of the sitemap data source. And then a static display label equal to 2. I will come to that particular uh, property. Why is that important? And dynamic horizontal offset equal to 2. This is to do with the location of the uh, sub menus and then orientation equal to vertical. I will come to that point as well and then in the next we have the sitemap data source where nothing is there just sitemap data source id equal to whatever id you want to specify and run it equal to server and then uh, let us create one sitemap file so the default sitemap file name should be web.sitemap so let me create it add a new item and sitemap web.sitemap and add and now I'm just copying and pasting from the ebook this is my uh, structure of the website however you can notice that there are not all those files that I have mentioned in the sitemap file but uh, I'm just taking one example here so uh, uh, even if it is not existing just do not worry about it so here you can see that I have written the f parent node of the sitemap file is sitemap and then for all children nodes I have written sitemap node so for sitemap node the home page and then under that home page we have written uh, .NET tutorials as you can see and then under .NET tutorials we have a sitemap control uh, tutorials and then this sitemap is closed so this sitemap node is open and it is closing here and then under the parent one again we have articles as you can see and then under articles we have asp.net c sharp and sharepoint articles and then again that is also closed and again we are closing the uh, first sitemap node node and then we are closing the sitemap node now the sitemap data source has its inbuilt uh, you know instructions then that whenever the page will be called with this sitemap data source then it will look for the web.sitemap file and it will read that site uh, web.sitemap file and it will give uh, its consumer as the data source of all the files or all the sitemap node uh, that contains into the web.sitemap file so let me show you uh, by running running this page so I'm going to run this page and here you can see that based on the web.sitemap uh, file there are two menu has been created under home tutorials and articles and because the orientation is vertical so you will see that the vertical menu is being created and uh, a static display level equal to 2 a static display level equal to 2 because this is the first hierarchy and this is the second hierarchy so there are two hierarchy means two levels of uh, uh, sitemap node is coming so the depth of the level is 2 and that's what the two levels are coming here if I will uh, specify the depth or site uh, uh, static display levels is equal to 3 then I will see that the level will come up to 3 you can see here home tutorial sitemap articles ASP.NET csap and SharePoint so let me specify 2 again and you will see that these things will come now let uh, now if I will change the orienta orientation to horizontal then we will see that the same menu 
control will come into the horizontal direction. Now you can see here home tutorial sitemap and articles ASP.NET, C Sharp and SharePoint. And when we will click whatever URL we will specify into the sitemap node, it will go to that particular URL. For example, ASP.NET, it, you will see that it is going to that specific URL, articles ASP.NET default.aspx. So this is the way to create a menu uh, based on the sitemap uh, file of your application. Now in, in the previous how to we saw that how to create a menu from the sitemap file. In this how to we are going to learn that how to create or generate a menu from the database. There might be scenario that you have the navigation structure of your website saved into the database and you want to generate the menu based on the navigation structure saved into the database table. So in order to do that we can follow this approach. For this demonstration we have uh, created one menus table. You can see here in my database there is menus table and that menus table has basically this structure you can see the first uh, field is menu id let me show you menu id that is the primary key as well and then we have menu name then menu description and then parent menu id it is like recursive so the pa parent menu id and then menu url means when i will click on that menu then where it should be redirected and my current record of this menu table is looking like this you can see your home tutorial sitemap and those things almost the same that is that was there in the web.sitemap file so let me copy paste the code from my ebook so here you can see that I have one simple menu control on the ASPX page where I have written orientations, orientation is equal to horizontal and now I am going to copy paste the code of my server side page so here is my server side page code and uh, let me completely copy paste and then I will explain them properly ok let me rectify all the bugs that might have here ok underscore con str is not there so let me declare that under underscore con str here a string underscore con str equal to configuration manager dot app setting sorry it is a connection string dot con str dot connection string fine looks like we are done I think there is very small thing that might be leaving so yes yes fine now let me explain the whole code first we have a, pub, a page level variable called underscore con str uh, where we are saving the database connection string from the web.config file as you can see here con str and then if the page will be loaded for the first time then we are uh, calling the get menu data method and this get menu data method is basically a private method where we are instantiating the data table and then we are instantiating the SQL connection by passing the database connection string and then we are getting the uh, all the columns that is required to populate the menu from the menus table naturally from the menus table we need all the columns but however I have just written the column name explicitly and then we are uh, instantiating the SQL uh, command and then SQL adapter and filling the records from the uh, menu table into the data table variable and then because now we have to uh, give the data to this menu control that we have on the ASPX page in, in the format it needs so, and its format should be exactly in, the, in, in this way so first we will have to populate the parent node and then we have to populate its child node so that's what we are trying to do here first we are getting all the data from the data table whose parent menu id is null naturally whose parent menu id will be null so that menu will be the parent control parent menu so that's why we have filtered 
all the records whose parent menu ID is null because that is going to my parent menu. So uh, then af after filtering it, we are again looping through the uh, data view row, data row view of the uh, filtered data view. And then what we are doing is that we are adding all the data from for that data row view into the menu item by passing into its constructor as you can see here and then we are adding the menu item into the menu dot items dot add so menu dot menu dot items dot add will basically what it will do is that it will add the menu items into the menu and then because this is the parent menu so i will have to check if there is any child for this particular menu or not so we have again called the add child items method by passing the data table and the menu item is this menu item and then in this add child items what we are doing is that we are looking for all the children elements of this uh, parent element for example uh, if parent menu is tutorial then we are checking if there is any sub menu for tutorial or not and so on and then if it is then we are again adding them into the uh, into the constructor of the uh, menu item and we are ad adding uh, that particular ch child element or the sub menu element into the main menu and again because this is the this will be recursive because there might be hierarchy of the uh, sub menus so i am calling this particular add child items menu in the recursive way inside the loop so this will make sure that the parent menu as well as its all children are getting added into the menu control items and once we have that then what will happen is that this menu control will be will render according to the data source coming in from the database so let me so let me run this page and you will see that it is coming exactly the same as it is written into the database now just for the confirmation let me edit some data here so i'm instead of asp.net i am just writing a small net now when i will run this page you will see that this is coming in asp and a small dot net so this is the way to basically uh, create or generate a menu from the database in ASP.NET.